Guys, if you play on a controller like I do, uh, I have here a scuff controller, um, there's one tool that you need. And to be honest, I'm a fool that I haven't used it earlier. I mean, I have this tool like three, four months already up and running when one friend of mine said, hey, you're not using this? I'm like, why should I? Uh, because it's helping you to connect to your PC. And I'm like, it's already working. Um, so I invested quite a lot of time, you know, and tried to figure out what this tool is. And to be honest with you, when I was playing Warzone, I always had the feeling that never mind what I'm doing on my controller, it feels a little bit delayed. And I tried, you know, to tune, you know, to get down to one millisecond, you know, to reduce the input delay. But this is not it, right? It's not the input delay. It just doesn't feel that everything is executed the way I want it. Plus, sometimes it feels like that my aim is getting off. You know, for no reason at all. And I was doing everything with the dead zones, etc., etc., etc. So I was investing quite some time now to understand how this DS4 for Windows is working. And the DS5 for Windows, it's the same thing. It's just for the DualSense controller, right? Um, and here's the thing. All you need to do, okay? And you have to trust me on that one. Is just go ahead, download this tool, extract it. You get a zip, extract it, and inside you find the exe. And this you execute. And the, exec uh, and the exe is exactly this. You can even select it that it's starting on on uh, on, uh, on startup. And I always run the program as a, as a admin, okay? So this is like my settings on that one. Um, and here's the thing. You can connect, or better said, you can apply different profiles for your, for your controller. So what you can do is basically you can create a default profile, right? And try out how it is on, on the default settings. But more importantly is that you try the profile that I created here. And this is like, you know, getting all the information from the internet, trying to lead a little bit about the FAQs and also about the information what is provided from developers, which is an open source project to my understanding. So make sure to check out the website. If you're really a techie, make sure to check out the website. You find all infos there. Long story short, under profiles, you just go import and you import the settings that I'm providing to you. And inside there, I will not go here into the details, we did a little bit of a fine tuning, okay? Of course, you can play around, try to adjust everything, that's all up to you. But that's it, okay? If you keep it as it is, we will be very thankful. Uh, one quick reminder, if you're an Xbox player, make sure that you go into the profile and under other settings that you change the emulation to the Xbox 360. That's all. Nothing else to add, okay? So what you do is you go under Profiles, or as I said, you open the app, go under Profiles, hit Import, then you import the XML file, which is in the download link, and that's it. Uh, by the way, you can even create multiple profiles for different games, right? So for example, if you would like to have here, I don't know if you play Apex or whatsoever, you can add like, okay, Apex, different profile, or in my case, I have here caught, you know, and I say, okay, I would like to have a profile here. You can even set like, okay, it should be auto-loaded once the game is loading. I don't need this. I just showed it here for you in case you, you need it, right? Uh, because I only have Warzone, which I'm playing on the controller. And... One thing on top of it, in case your controller is not found, so you have a controller and it's not found, by the way, you can also change the, the nice color here. Yeah, so you can see, you, you can change the color to, I don't know, let's say to, to this blue or to this red. Not, not sure if you see it here, right? Or green, sorry. No, yellow is this. Now to red. You see, it's changing the colors, but I like to stick with something more easier for the eye. Um, you can also select the default profile for it, you know, like sticky, like what I have here for you. If your controller is not found, just hit stop and then start it again. It's nothing else than the service. It's helping you. It, it's literally helping your PC to emulate all the inputs correctly that you get from your controller. That's all what this program is. And it's completely legal. There's nothing illegal about it. It's not a crony. No, it has nothing to do with that. But trust me, this is what you want to do. And now let's jump into the in-game settings. As promised, let's have a look into my controller setup so that you have a full picture, okay, what's going on here. I play with a high sensitivity, like 1010, um, because this feels the most 
I would say natural for me, you know, while I'm not ADSing. I have a custom setup for while I'm ADSing, which I will also show you like in one second. But generally, uh, don't take this as your guideline, right? I, I used to play a long time with 7.7, 8.8, 6.6 even, um, sometimes also 1313. But to be honest, 1010, this is like my sweet spot for my movement and for my capability to actually understand what's going on, you know, in my surroundings. Yeah. Don't forget, most pros, like CDL pros, they, they play with like with 7.7, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, only few are going higher, right? Because the higher your sensitivity, which means like, you know, the, the faster you move le left and right, or when you move left and right, the faster everything will go. Uh, this is also impacting your image system, how it's working. So the higher your sensitivity, usually the lower your image system will work for you. So that's why everybody's recommending basically to go like with a seven, you know, six, six or seven, because there you have the best image system. But I also have for this a solution if you play like with 10, 10, right? Um, and that's it basically. I play with standard uh, button layout. There's nothing else. I mean, I use a scuff, uh, PS5. So I have my back pedals on the back and I use the one with the triggers and with remove bumpers, uh, which makes it more easy to play with, right? Um, but now let's go into the advanced settings. So when it comes to the aim assist type, uh, for this setup, I use Black Ops and the dynamic curve, but I think this doesn't really matter. It's what you prefer best, right? So it be it default or be it precision, uh, Black Ops, it's up to you, right? I I prefer personally Black Ops because I feel that it's much stronger for my playstyle that I have. But to be honest, sometimes I also think, you know, I should switch back to default. But this is, once again, it's, 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 it's really like how you feel it the best. Uh, lately, a lot of people are saying go back to default because it's the best, but... For me so far, it's Black Ops. Um, when it comes to the response curve, I always recommend Dynamic Sins Wars on one. Once again, there are more videos about this in more detail by much smarter people than I am. So have a look at them, right? Um, but now let's come to the custom sensitivity, which I mentioned before, right? Uh, what I did, so while I'm using a 1010 sensitivity, I said, okay, I only like to have uh, an ADS sensitivity of, let's say, six or seven. And because I'm not like saying, okay, six or seven is the best, I say, okay, let's go in between, right? Uh, so what I said, okay, let's go and set the ADS sensitivity. So when I'm ADSing, I would like to have the sensitivity of a six or seven, or better said 6.5. That's why I put it everywhere on 0 0.65. You know, some guys like to have it aggressive, you know, they have started with a lower, uh, with a higher amount of sensitivity on, on the low zoom and on the high zoom, they go like, oh, you know, like 40% or whatever. This is really how you like to play with, right? I figured out for me, this is really like the best example. And now let's get into the dead zones. And this is really like where everything kicks in, okay? Uh, when you look at it, so I had, before the setup with the DS4, DS5, I had a setup of uh, left stick and right stick minimum at six or seven, you know, like most people recommend on YouTube, and the left stick max and the uh, right stick max I was setting just to default at one. Uh, the triggers I put to zero, zero, although I have uh, uh, instant triggers, I still said, okay, Let's put them on zero just to make sure that I'm not losing any kind of uh, uh, response time here, right? Um, so what I recommend is really like to put your right stick max on 0 0.99, your left stick max that you start at 0 0.40, I will explain in a second, and that you start with your left stick min and right stick minimum on 0 0, and then you go into the firing range and test it there, okay, where do you have a stick drift or not, right? So I was doing a lot of testing there and at the end of the day I figured out, okay, if I have my left stick on 002 and as a minimum input and my left stick max input at 035, I have the best, for me personally, response times when it comes to my controller. Same for the right stick. Here I set it at 003, where I see I still have a little bit of a, of a stick drift here, but it's really minimal okay and i say okay i stick for the time being with 003 which allows me you know that my stick is responding the, the most accurate right if it would be 00 like sometimes you have a new controller i mean when i bought this one new uh 
in the beginning I had absolutely no issue, everything was in zero zero, and you know, at some point you get stick drift, etc. 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 And then okay, you have to increase these dead zones. But at the end of the day, I str strongly recommend that you try to work with the least or lowest amount uh, of dead zone for the minimum input. And for the left stick, which is basically like your 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 your, your movement stick, that you go as low as possible where you need it. So really check it out, right? Uh, you will feel it. If your left stick max is not ac accurately set up, uh, then your character will just go back and forth. You know, this is sometimes happening, or at least this was happening to me. So you can copy paste basically these settings, but it will not help you unless you test them by yourself on the firing range. So it might be that you have a 004, 005 on a minimum dead zone for both controllers, right? Uh, for both sticks. So really invest, it's literally like 10 minutes. Invest the time for that, okay? And that's basically it. There is nothing else where, where I say, okay, this is what you have to have. So import the profile that I have on in the description here and make sure that you adjust your sensitivity to what you like and what you prefer. Utilize the custom sensitivity per zoom. This is a huge, huge, huge improvement to everyone. And because I see a lot of people not adjusting it, right? And make sure that you have your dead zone correctly set up to the minimum possible okay don't go with the defaults of 006 you know where everyone's saying this is how i feel best and so on literally figure out what's your controller because you would like to use utilize the, the most responsiveness of your controller that's possible that being said much success you will not regret it